today? It's Monday, March 18th. I have no haircut. 15th, it's the 6th, 18th, 18th, dude. Did I say 15th or yeah. 18th? You said 15th. It's, dude, it's Monday morning, it's not even 9 in the morning. So for example, this just had a comprehensive vehicle inspection at a dealership. They rode up for CV boots and they are right. They said they don't need to be replaced immediately though. Me personally, water coming out of them, that's a problem. You look up in there, there's all sorts of water in there. It's gonna prematurely weigh your joint out. Does that sound like good things, see best? Yeah, the camera's saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna happen in fucking two seconds. No, I know, but like the next day or something. Definitely not gonna happen the next day. So if you wanna buy it, then you, you can buy it. Groundbreaking. I feel horrible. I think, you know, oh, well, I still have health insurance for a couple of days, but Mike refused to buy it. Not sure why. It's because he didn't want to pay it. I don't know. I told him Mike pays for it. He said it's 40 bucks a week. Woo. 40 bucks a week. I'll freaking, I'll pay that. Not a big deal. Next question. How you guys doing? This is Joel, six of the three. We working on Joel. Leave me alone. Um, when it comes to Adam, I think he's a good shop foreman. You know, he's a great leader. Um, he's very responsible. He... I gotta take this. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, you wanna know what we're doing? You're supposed to ask what we're doing. Cut! <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, today we got a W204 in the shop. Uh, we're resealing both front covers. We're actually gonna replace them because they warp and they don't really seal too great. So, you know, just one shot. We're just gonna replace them, seal them back up. Right. Yep. Getting health insurance for our... Oh, he was ranting about that downstairs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. don't yeah. worry. I'm gonna get it right now. <laughs> drop everything. Yep, all for Adam. I love Adam. Yeah. He's a hard worker. I'm the owner. Just when Adam needs something, it's gotta be right now. Yeah, because I'm very important. Yeah? Yeah. He said he's getting health insurance for you right now because of what Is you he? said. Well, here's my thing, all right? Turned 26 a couple of days. I've asked Mike a couple of times that we should get health insurance. Dude, get blown it off. Imagine if Mike paid for our haircuts, right? Because we always want to look good, you know, we look bad, it makes him look bad, it makes company look bad. So, Mike, got a little haircut fund for us for a month? Shit, that'd be groundbreaking. Go ask him that. Adam thinks that you should pay for everyone's haircuts. Well, not like that. I said, is that recording? Yeah. You know what would be groundbreaking? Here at 603 M Tech, the owner pays the worker's child support. <laughs> I don't know that. about that one either. Um, <laughs> he thought about it. Dude, nothing was off until like 20 minutes ago. No, what are you talking about? Let's go check right now. Everything's on. Alright, so I'll just call. Tuesday, isn't it? I'm gonna let you walk out. I'm not walking out. Yeah, I'm not fucking gonna walk out. Oh, jeez. I'm not walking out. I'm gonna walk out. I'm on camera. I'm, I'm going up the stairs. We got an E550 in the shop. Check it out. So we're actually doing some motor mounts in this bad Larry. Customer supplied the motor mounts. Huh, I don't even Mercedes ones. Anyways, supplied the motor mounts, look just like Mercedes. Uh, we don't really do too much uh, customer supplied parts, but sometimes if we know the part's pretty straightforward, like a motor mount, you know, we'll do it. Also complaining about his coolant. Look at this guy, this thing's bone dry. He's been topping it off, no coolant. Leaks anywhere. I wonder what that means. Little 278 video on YouTube. Go check it out. Look at this. Brake fluid. See, so yeah, we're gonna have to drop the subframe for this. Look at this brake fluid. Oh my god. See this? Oof. Also looks like it needs some brakes. Definitely needs some. One of those. All right, so we got a bunch of cars out here. Oh, you need the key, huh? Okay, we have two today. Two. One more, we're sending you home. <laughs> so we just got this ML in. We're doing a 
oil change and transmission service with a torque converter. What did I just say? Torque converter drain. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just took one of our loaner cars. But. So, we got the C300 out here. We got this C300 over here. Let me show you guys something real quick. Lowered. So this is actually, we're going to be replacing a steering lock on this um, vehicle. You can see, when you hit the start button, you can hear the steering lock. It is super, super weak. It's just super, super weak. I guarantee I could get it to, to not start um, if I put the steering wheel all the way to the right and lock it but we don't want to do that it starts right now but we told the customer like you should probably change this before you get stranded somewhere and you have to get it towed it's very low so it'd be very difficult um, but we have this C300 over here Let's check it out real quick so we have this C300 actually a couple weeks ago we told them the same thing. You should probably replace your steering lock or you're going to have to tow it. Guess what? It got towed here. So now we're doing a steering lock. The steering wheel is locked. So it's going to take a little bit more work. And that one's going to be pretty easy because it's unlocked and we can drive it in the shop. This one we're going to have to push in the shop and it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But So if you need a steering lock and it's starting to get weak, replace it. We've got this SL. So if you have an SL550, we have an SL master technician. His name is Adam Jacobson. Uh, he is the best at fixing SLs. He loves diagnosing them. So if you have an SL550, SL63, contact my guy Adam. He'll take care of you. So this one, we actually replaced the engine control unit. It fried out, uh, got towed in. And yeah, now it's uh, back to life. It needs the batteries replaced. Expensive repair. I think that control unit was like three grand. Not fun, not fun. Yo, Joel! I don't know why he does that. Just leaves the door open. Joel! This isn't a drama This shop. a thousand percent is a drama shop. We got a C43 over here. Check it out. Got a flat tire. Oh, you can't really see it. Anyways, customer hit a curb or something, scratched the bumper, damaged the radiator. It's got a big old leak in it. So we're doing a bunch of um, work on the radiator, condenser, a bunch of cooling hoses and things like that. Customer doesn't want to fix the bumper. Says he's going to trade it in for a G63. So good for him. Then we got this 211. My man Joel Semino just bought from a customer. It needs like $9,000 worth of work. I don't know why he bought it, but he did because he wanted to. Not bad looking though. Not bad. So I got this C300 in. Came from the dealership. I quoted like eight, nine thousand dollars worth of work. So we went through it. It does need a lot of work. Um, you know, but the thing is the car's only worth maybe five thousand dollars and it's got two hundred thousand miles on it so customer doesn't know what she wants to do with it um so yeah you know people want to find the shortcut amazon parts and stuff like that sometimes it just doesn't work like that they're all typically common issues that are happening with these cars and people just aren't fixing them 10 years down the road totals it out so one of our loaner cars, MTEC 1. Another one of our loaner cars, MTEC 2. We just lent out MTEC 3 to another customer. We got this E350 in the shop with a extended crank. It needs a camshaft and a camshaft adjuster and a bunch of stuff. The customer has Car Shield extended warranty. You guys know that's probably the worst extended warranty out there. Sorry to say that, but that's just what it is. So we're going to be calling them seeing what they decline probably everything and then we got this s500 it's been sitting for a year and uh, brought it back to life definitely needs some 
rear bags and some other things, but that's what that's, this is in. Another one of Adam's favorite vehicles to work on, R-Classes. This R3, R350 needs everything a 278 engine would need, oil filter housing, drive belt, power steering pump, lines, everything like that. Um, customer wanted to kind of cheap out on this, so he kind of bought some cheaper parts. We put it in for him just because he was doing a bunch of other stuff. Um, we do transmission service, pan, everything like that. Even put some uh, rear bags in there. It was sagging way down. Luckily, it looks like it's sitting pretty decent. It also needs the, the leveling links. And then we got uh, this is Zach's car, E550. Not a bad ride. Clean paint. He's actually selling it. I think he actually sold it, but. Oh, this been sitting here for a couple days, but this is our new loaner car, guys. This was my E550, and is the newest ride. Pretty nice. This is one of our loaner cars now, so we have five total loaner cars. And then you got Joel Samino's E-Class wagon. Typically in the summertime, typically in the summertime, this is all lined up with customers' cars all the way down to the end. Um, but that's some some of the cars. Oh, we got one more. We got a CLK in the other shop. Is it, they haven't really seen the other shop yet. No. All right. Let's, let's go do that. Why is the door still open? I'm fucking pushing the outside. I'm not the only one that can push. But Adam. Yo! This is a drama. This on a thousand percent is a drama show. Yo! You gonna just keep eating my outside? What? Why is the door open? On what? Oh, I don't know. Welcome to. I call it the tire shop, alignment shop. So this is our other loaner, MTech 4. We're actually getting this thing ready to, uh, we're getting this thing ready for the road. We just put a seat cover in it. We're gonna put a switch and then we're gonna put some miles on it. We actually put a transmission in that one. Um, so, and you can see we've got an engine on an engine stand. We're actually gonna be doing a video on this, your M276 common problems. And then we have a M276 twin turbo that's blown up and we, we're gonna do a teardown video and then also do a common problem video with that. So stay posted. And then we got the CLK convertible in the shop because the convertible top does not work. Um, we actually looked at this mobile back in the day when I was mobile and she said that she would once one day tow it to us and today's the day. So hopefully we can get that figured out. But you can see this is our alignment rack. Alignment machine, best of the best, 2023. Doesn't get any better than this. You know, same stuff the dealership has. So you're not losing any quality there. And then you got the best of the best, Road Force Balancer right here. Hunter Road Force. And then you got a $30,000 tire machine. I know, crazy, huh? Thirty thousand. And look, all we're putting on some new Michelin's on this bad Larry. This is gonna be on R class. Adam's R classes. That's the only thing that Adam works on: R classes and SLs. All right, guys. So you see this C sixty three engine? This was actually a used engine. And you guys have seen, I don't know if you've seen the YouTube or Instagram short about how we put an engine in a vehicle and we had to take it back out. Well, this was another vehicle. It wasn't even that one. This is another one, the same situation. Uh, basically, the front timing cover was leaking oil because they replaced it. And, you know, it's, it's a big job to replace the front timing cover or reseal it. Um, so they had sent another engine out and it's just been sitting here for months. So the customer is actually going to have to come pick this up. 
But uh, it's one of those situations. It's, the C63 is back to life, and he was actually towed it all the way up from Connecticut. So I thank you, Brian, for doing that. Thank you, thank you. This dude detailing back in the day. We still have all our stuff, so we still do courtesy washes on vehicles. Not when it's really cold, but when it's definitely when the nice weather's out, we'll definitely be cleaning almost every car that leaves here. So great. I did forget one thing. Um, sprinters. We do work on sprinters. We don't advertise it. There's a reason for it. We just don't have the space for them, but we do work on them. So we also have this sprinter in with a uh, bunch of concerns, check engine light, running rough, uh, things like that. Another one of Adam's favorite vehicles to work on, sprinters. He is our sprinter guy. So, hope you like that, Adam. Camera out. He's vlogging me. Alright folks, we have a uh, 206 C43 client unfortunately uh, hit something or someone crashed into him, whatever, and it wiped out a bunch of his radiators, condenser, I mean, most cool are not supposed to look like this. So, oh wow, I didn't even see that. Oh yeah. So, we got this little stack of radiators for him with all sorts of under panels and hoses. They're all brand new parts from Mercedes Benz. Crazy stuff. The headlights back here, all new panels. Look at how many coolers this thing has. One, two. Got the condenser for the AC, got another cooler, possibly, maybe, and you got the main radiator right there, that's probably for the secondary circuit, wow, it's crazy, all these coolant hoses, bumper support, headlights, C43, I'm doing a belt kit in a 2008 C300. It only has 56,000 original miles on it. Oh. I thought that was pretty cool. Coming to the shop, actually. Said he's got a vibration at 75 miles per hour. Probably check that out. Someone fucked up the mulch, huh? You know what that was? Dog. It's like a dog. Look at this dog, Willow, an Australian Shepherd. Insert the picture right there. I don't have a picture of her. I'll send you one. Alright. <laughs> She's a good dog. Bought her like a giant box of milk bones. Just for a dog, it's not ours. <laughs> it's a neighbor's dog. Alright, our beautiful C43, here she is. That's, that's 
main concern is actually the camshaft covers are leaking oil down the front of the engine. So came here for that, but he also has a little side quest. Side quest. Side quest. <laughs> little 75 mile per hour vibration. Now we won't go 75 miles per hour. That's above speed. Limit. So we got to go speed limit, but we'll see what we you know, we'll see what we can feel. You're gonna ask me what I'm working on? I already did. Oh, oh you're gonna edit that part? All right. So we had a customer come in. Uh, they supplied their own motor mounts. I quoted them probably uh, half a year or so ago. I also quoted a bunch of oil leaks and they wanted to do the motor mounts. So instead of doing those today, we're gonna do the centrifuge cover, the vacuum pump, which are both leaking a lot of oil onto the exhaust. And then we're gonna do the oil filter housing as well. Nice. Pressure wash it. Hey, how are you? Checking the time. Oh, wow. It's a weird time. One o'clock. Hello? Joel? What up? How we doing? Good, how you doing? Good. What are you working on? Uh, doing some rear brakes on a 212. With a bunch of Loctite on the bolts. What? Why are you hitting customer cars, dude? <laughs> What's going on, Adam? What do you got? Uh, doing a uh, steering rack in this beautiful R class. One of our really good clients. Taking the differential out now. And uh, we've got to get a piece of wood. It doesn't go high enough. But. Pretty much it. We're doing the steering rack because the uh, control head is actually leaking. Right here, that's where it's leaking from. There's a seal behind here on the old rack, and the uh, power steering fluid tends to leak out of there. The control head, they call it. All right, guys. So, what is it? Thursday. Thursday we got the C300 in here I think we already went over it but it's steering lock it's the steering wheel is locked so we had to do it well we could have pushed it inside but it takes a lot of work so you can see the steering columns out of it Joel's like the master at these he loves doing them um, he's actually taking it apart right now but that's what we got going on on this one C300 with a steering lock yes, Sebastian? does this make you work faster it does I didn't know you were killing <laughs> Oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> secret service menu. Secret, 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 secret. Big secret here. It was going to be a Ford Master Tech, but decided Mercedes was the way. Well, Dad bought, but some Duro last sway bar links. Huh? Let's see what this has got. My dad did some lower control arms, and now there is some noise coming from the suspension. So, you know, you old junior, just gonna get it up on the lift and see what's going on. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, there you go. Center. Well, this flying came in from vertical top. It wouldn't go down. Would it be down or up? Um, up. Up? I guess up. Uh, wouldn't go up. Um, no codes. The only code I had was couldn't communicate with the right front door control unit. Uh, found 13.6 volts on the can high, so that's a short to positive. And 4.5 volts on the can low, same thing. Circ narrowed it down to the connector, same voltage. Came over to the can block. Um, found at least 20 tube wires. So just went ahead and repaired all of them, soldered it up, uh, taped it, got it all secured, and uh, Working. You want to see? Yep. All right. Let me get over here. For the beach. Ready for the beach. And look at it. Our windows working. Time to put it back together. Have fun with that one. I always have fun. <laughs> Just want to say happy 26th birthday, Adam. We really appreciate you here around the shop. I personally appreciate you as a friend. Uh, you've really made me grow and seen a bigger world. Uh, we do appreciate everything you do around here, man. I love you like a brother. Let's have fun tonight. Adam, happy birthday, brother. You know, I hope we have a really great time tonight. You know, you do a lot for us, you do a lot for me, and just having you around just elevates how we are in the shop. You know, from, you know, helping me on little odds and ends to answering my questions. Um, you know, you're a real great support structure, not only to me, but the team. So, you know, I, I really appreciate you and I wish you the greatest birthday. You know, you deserve it, man. Thank you for all the hard work and let's fucking have fun tonight, man. Happy birthday, Adam. Thanks for being such a good shop foreman and helping me be a better tech every day. Really glad you're here. Let's have a great night. Just want to wish happy birthday to my man Adam. You know, he's the hardest worker here. You know, top quality every single day. Um, he really motivates me to work harder and I'm just really looking forward to hanging out with you tonight, man. Like the seventh one. All right, so working good. sideways, sideways. On the call.